and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I try to put out new videos every single week. So anyways, today's video is going to be about the best apps to use for promoting your blog or your vlog or your YouTube or whatever it may be. So if you're a blogger or a vlogger, you know that marketing your posts is very important. The tags that you put in your post, the captions, the thumbnail, everything is super crucial and super important to a successful blog post or YouTube channel. Although I know that my YouTube channel isn't high up there, I have some great apps on my phone that I know about that I think would be really useful for everybody. So I'm going to go through all those apps today. They're everything from uh, finding inspiration to photo editing to posting to just different forms of social media. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So there are so many different apps that you can use for blogging. There is the regular Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest. Those are the common ones that most people use and I know I use them when I I am blogging or trying to promote my blog. Now if you have a Facebook fan page, having a pages app is pretty important. It helps you see all your comments, all your messages, and it even shows you your insights. So I know that my actions on my page are up, my page views are down, my page likes are up, and I've reached 17,000 people on my page. So I know what I need to work on. I need to work on engagements and I need to work on page views. It just helps you kind of figure out what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and how to fix that. Moving on from that, we are gonna go to the Google Drive app. So if you use Google Drive, this is very essential to have. I upload all of my files on OneDrive and then I can access them all from this app. So instead of having to you know, email all my files to myself, I can just share them all on my OneDrive and they're all here and I could just access them whenever I want and upload them to Facebook or Instagram. Next, we're gonna go to photo editing apps. I really love Snapseed. Snapseed has been one of my favorites for quite some time now because you can really edit the photo more than you could any other app, in my opinion. So say I wanted to edit this photo and I wanted to make my hair look a little darker. So I would select this and I can go ahead and darken my hair, I can lighten my hair, I could do whatever I want. I kind of want this background a little blurred and I want this font to show up a little more. So I'm gonna darken this and that's gonna help everything stand out a bit better. And then from here, I can change my white balance, make it a little cooler, make it a little warmer. I can also add any kind of text that I want and I can change the color of it, I can change the opacity of it, I can change the way I want it displayed so I can have it as a little tag or I can have it as a little geometric shape. So now that I have my photo set, I can just save it and then I can just go on my Instagram, find it in my photos and share it with all my followers. Sticking to the photo editing apps, you could also use Photo Collage, which is compatible with Instagram. So you can create fun little collages for your Instagram page. So you could either choose the classic frames or you can use the stylish frames. And you have a ton of different options. So let's go with this option. And then you click anywhere and you can retrieve any photo that you have on your phone. So let's go with this one again. And from there, you can change the shape, you can change the size, you can change the size of the whole photo so it could be compatible with whatever you are uploading your photo onto. So this would be Instagram, this might be better for Facebook, it just depends on what you're looking for. You can add any kind of frame that you want and then I can add any text I want again. There's all different vibes that you could go for for your blog or your Instagram or whatever it may be. I can make it bolder so we'll make that very bold. I can change the color if I want. I can add a banner to the background so that it sticks out more. So we'll stick to this banner and I'll just put that right down there. I can add a sticker if I want to. We'll add this cool cat right in the corner and then I can save that photo. So the photo is saved and now I can share it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Messenger, or any other photo sharing app that I have on my phone. So this makes it really easy to just edit your photos and share them right away. Another great one is Font Candy. 
So with font candy, you can literally just choose any photo that you have. So we'll go with the same one. You can have it original size, Instagram post size, Facebook cover size, Twitter post, iPhone wallpaper. And with font candy, the great thing about it is that you can add any kind of font you want. So we'll do um, another message. So I have the font that I want on my photo. So again, we can go ahead and change the font style and then you can change the sizing of it. So you really have a lot of options to customize your photo. And then from there, say that's how I wanted my photo to look, I would go ahead and save it. And then again, I can add it to Instagram, Twitter, I can mail it to myself, Facebook, Tumblr, I can text it, or I could go to any other app that I wanna share this photo on. Now let's say you have your blog post or your video done and you wanna start sharing it. A great app for that is Buffer. Buffer is a great app for people that don't have time to create Instagram, Facebook, Google+, um, Twitter, posts, very often. We have things to do in our day-to-day -day lives, so it's kind of hard to post whenever you want to. So Buffer allows you to pre-post. So I have it set up for Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. So I have a bunch of different tweets here, and I've set the times. This tweet is going to be tweeted out at 6.01. This one's going to be tweeted out at 12.20. And this one is going to be tweeted out tomorrow morning at 7.47 a.m. So you can really plan out your social media posts ahead of time so you don't have to worry about it every single hour or whatever your schedule it may be. It also gives you your analytics and it tells you when is the best time to post. So this one had 7.8 thousand potential views. This one had 7.7 thousand potential views. So it recommends when to post and how you should post and how often you should post. So this is a great app for anybody who maybe just doesn't have the time to post whenever they want to. I'm actually obsessed with Buffer. I think it is the greatest app for planning out my tweets and I know that everything is gonna be tweeted out and I'm gonna have some engagement on my posts and I don't have to worry about constantly checking on my phone or being on my phone. Next up is the app Amino. Amino is a fantastic forum-like app that anybody who enjoys Reddit might enjoy. So with Amino, this is my homepage. You can look up any kind of forum that you're interested in. So there's movies and TV, art and fashion, music, video games, literally anything you want. So you just have to follow the forum's rules and you can post anything that you want and link to your blog. Some forums don't allow you to link to your own blog. You have to blog into the forum, but most of them will allow you to put a link to your own blog or your YouTube channel. So this is a great way to get your posts out there to people who have similar interests to you. And I actually get a lot of clicks from the Amino community. So I know that there's a lot of times where we don't really know what we want to blog about or create a video about. So that's where Flipboard comes in for me. Flipboard is an app that allows you to look at popular magazine articles or popular news articles for things that may interest you and it gives you tons of inspiration. So I follow the fashion board. I can flip through all the popular fashion posts and then I also follow the beauty board so I can follow all relevant beauty posts and this is where I get a lot of my ideas for videos so I'll see something it'll inspire me and I will maybe create my own twist on that and any article that interests you you could just click on it and it'll take you to the web page where it is posted Last but not least is Shaper. So I can't really open Shaper because of confidentiality reasons. Shaper is like Tinder for bloggers, YouTubers, and entrepreneurs. So you can swipe left and right on whoever you find interesting or disinteresting, and you can network with those people, you can collaborate with them, uh, you could get to know about their business, you can talk to them about your business. So it is a great app for anybody who maybe wants to get their name out there, get their blog out there, and meet some cool, interesting people in their community. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys know of any other apps that are super useful for blogging and vlogging and any kind of self-promotion, let me know in the comments. It could be useful for me and everybody else that might be reading them. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, let me know. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I guess until next week, I'll see you guys later.